what I have here now is the same mold. What I've done is just poured some resin in it. It's just a very basic, cheap casting resin, uh, just to produce the roll, the uh, bases, the way that would, you would normally for, for painting and using gaming. Now what we're going to do quickly is just demold them, just check them for detail, and then after that, I'll pause it, paint them up, and we'll come back and see if you can pick which ones or which. Now for demolding these, very similar to how it was with the plaster bases, round the edges gently slightly, and it should just come out. Okay, capture the detail well. Now the only downside to using a cheap resin for casting is it will get it'll be a little bit sticky to the touch initially, but that's very easy to take care of. All you need to do is just wash it in a bit of just warm soapy water. Just normal dish soap is more than enough. Now we can be less gentle demolding these because the resin will not be rigid. Oh, sorry, will not be as fragile as the plaster was. Now you see this one here had a lot of overflow. I over, over filled while pouring. That's very easy to clean off. Just get a bit of sandpaper and just sand it off. It would be best to wash it thoroughly first though, just to ensure that you can actually get a grip on it because it being sticky from the residue can be a little bit awkward to hold it. There. So the edge is a bit weird on that one there where it's overflowed the mold a bit. There must be a defect in the mold there. Again, we'll just clean that edge up with a bit of sandpaper once we've actually washed the base. Another one there. And the last one here, so like it's got the similar thing, a bit of overhang on the end. That's not that much of an issue. If you are using a resin, a resin that does leave the sticky residue on there, you will need to wash your mold as well between castings. It's probably not a bad idea to do that just to make sure you don't have any sticky residues left in there that can impact on any detail capture. What it will also do is if you don't wash your moulds, you will actually get over time any dust and dirt and grime that you may have in the area where you store your mould will actually get stuck in there and actually will fill the detail and then that will transfer into each piece you cast. You don't want that because then it means your bases will be like partially dust and grime. No. If it's food crumbs and things like that as well, it can be an issue as well. All right, so we'll come back in the next part after, we've, after I've washed these. I'll, I'll wash them, trim them up, then I'll paint all of these as well as the plaster and the original bases. And we'll do a quick comparison and you can see how similar they look and how easy it is to replicate these. As you can see, I've got all the different bases here all painted up. Finished. It's just a quick rough paint job on them just for the sake of just showing the difference between them. Now to show you quickly, this is the original one we created to mould. You can tell that from the back there. This is the set that was made with plaster. And the last ones here are the ones done with resin. Now there are massive differences between them. The plaster ones have captured the detail extremely well. It's not a problem at all. Whereas the resin ones have not. I did use a very, very cheap, low quality resin that I just bought from the hardware store. I have no idea how long it was sitting on their shelf for. You know, it could have been a few years old. When it was mixed up as well, I'm not even sure they had the correct catalyst for it because it was a different brand of catalyst for the resin. So I believe that's probably why it's resulted in not capturing all the detail as well. Just as a quick comparison when you look at them, it appears fine on the larger base until you look at it more closely and you see here there's a massive lump that's just not on the other base. And the detail around this ridge here is all kind of rounded off, whereas on this one here it's a lot crisper. So there's been problems with those. And with other sort of details, such as the smaller detail, here where I've put the sort of the bike hub, like the, the tire hub here, it's just a blob, like a shapeless blob there. Even though I've picked it out with paint to try to highlight it, it's still, you know, almost unrecognizable. But because we have had quite good success with the actual plaster, it leads me to believe that the mold itself was completely fine. When you look at this here, Again, original plaster, 
Both of them have the same hub. It's come through fine. The detail is just as crisp in this one as it is in this one. And then when we look at this resin one, again, you can still see the hub, a little bit of detail on it, but it's rounded edged, and it's a lot rounded, more rounded on the terrain features. Even like the paint effect I've used on here is dry brushing, and that's normally the good for picking out ridges and raised areas, but just the differences between them. You see on this one here, which is the original, how it's a lot clearer where the, deep, where the different ridges are and things that way. Whereas this here, even though I'd used the exact same paint technique, exact same colors, it just did not come out near as well. I'm going to put the one down to just being poor quality resin, as the plaster worked fine. Alright, I hope you've liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.